Hey everyone, Adam here. I just wanted to uh, give you a small little tutorial on how to check for liquidity lock. Uh, if you're new to crypto, you're new to the shitcoin trades, uh, Binance and uh, Uniswap trading, uh, I'm just going to show you how to check for liquidity locks so that you don't get rugged, right? And when you get rugged, you know, you have a coin like this where we have a liquidity pool. And what happens is the owner of the token, the dev, ends up pulling this liquidity. So there's no more liquidity to trade on, right? He pulled all the liquidity. So you just pretty much lost all your funds. Anything you've invested is now lost. Um, and to ensure uh, the safety of your investment, there are uh, liquidity locks. So when you're locking um, liquidity, it essentially means that the token owner does not own the liquidity anymore for a given period of time. They're, or they don't have access to it. They still own it, but they don't have access to that liquidity for a given amount of time, depending on how long they lock the liquidity. So I pulled up a coin for Binance. Uh, this is um, a uh, Binance Smart Chain token called Goonies that is available to trade on PancakeSwap. And uh, I'm gonna give you a quick demo of how to check for uh, liquidity locks. So if you just open up the coin on PoolCoin, um, just grab the token you wanna check, throw it into PoolCoin. Um, and on the left side over here, you'll see that um, it says PCV2. You wanna, you wanna go to this area right here and you wanna click holders. So you wanna open a new tab and check holders, right? So when you do that, I just open a new tab. It takes you to the Binance um, uh, Explorer. And what you wanna see, first of all, is the contract icon. This little icon means that it's locked, it means that the liquidity is locked, all right? That's first thing. Um, if you don't see this contract icon, uh, that means that it's unlocked. So we see that 92% of the liquidity here is indeed locked and 6.5% has been burned. So if you don't see the contract icon, but you see that you know over 95%, over 90% of the liquidity is at the zero address, right? This dead address right here. That is also okay because the liquidity is dead. That means they burned the liquidity. So they can't pull the liquidity anymore. It doesn't exist anymore. It's been burned. Right? But typically devs don't do that because they want their money back after the token dies or whatever the case is. So uh, we check the contract icon, we make sure it's locked, that's good, okay, but how long is it locked for? So what we wanna do is then click on this, right? We wanna click on this address and what it's gonna do is take us to a transactions um, page. So we see the transactions that occurred for this address. We see the method that was called was locked token. So it is, you know, it was locked. When we click on that uh, transaction um, and we check the logs, Here's where you check now. Um, <clears throat> you see that at the bottom here, it says hex, right? This doesn't help at all. You don't know how to decode this, right? But what you can do is change this hex to number, and then we're giving this um, Unix number, right? So I'm gonna copy that number. And what you wanna do is go to uh, a website called Epoch Converter. Now Epoch Converter, what it's gonna do is convert that number that we had into, um, sorry, this is the wrong one. Uh, it's Epoch uh, Timestamp. So Unix timestamp, and I'll, I'll drop a link to this Unix timestamp um, in the description. Uh, just paste that number that you got in here and click convert, and it'll tell you exactly when this thing is gonna expire, right? It'll tell you, so this thing is, uh, this token in Unix represents roughly eight days from now. Uh, well, it represents a specific time, but it's relative in eight days, meaning that the token will be unlocked in eight days. So you're safe for these eight days to trade this token, but once the eight days are over, you just need to know that the dev can then pull the liquidity and take all the funds out, which leaves your investment useless. Um, we can take a look at a scam token. Usually these tokens on Token FOMO, this is Token FOMO. Um, usually they have like a little emoji. This is like scream scam, scam straight away. Like this usually just scream scam. I'm just gonna copy this contract that just go back to PoolCoin and I'll, I'll show you why. Um, when you paste it in here, um, you, you see $56,000 in liquidity. Um, you know, nobody, nobody's buying this. These are bots that just bought this, uh, front running bots. Um, uh, if you're looking for a bot, I'll leave a, a little uh, caption icon uh, for you to click somewhere on the screen so that you could uh, see uh, a bot that you can use if you like using bots. But anyway, um, if we click on holders, well, first of all, PoolCoin is already telling us that an unlocked wallet is holding 100% of the liquidity pool, right? So already red flag right away, right? So this, we didn't, before even checking, this tells us that the liquidity is unlocked. But if we wanted to, you know, double check, we'll click on holders as we did last time. The page will then load. 
oh, we come here, we look at the LP holder. So the LP is available at this address. And look, we don't have a contract icon here, which means that this can be pulled at any given moment in time. And 100% of, of the LP lives at this address, which means that we can, the developer can remove all the funds in the liquidity pool at any time because it is not locked, right? So always check out for that. Um, always look, always, whenever you have a contract address, don't just ape in, you know, look for the liquidity lock, make sure the liquidity is locked. Uh, that way you can secure your investment, make sure that you're, you're not going to be a victim of a rug pull. So yeah, feel free to, um, uh, that's all there is to it. Really check the liquidity pools. So um, I'll be releasing more videos like this uh, uh, to keep your, to help keep your investment safe, to get rid of, um, any scams, any rugs that are occurring to help you get educated on how these scams are pulled, how to avoid them, um, so that you can actually make money on these things. Because, um, it's very easy for scammers to push up coins, tokens like this, you know, leave the liquidity unlocked. You go in, you see 56 K liquidity. You think it's safe. It's really not, you know, you throw in some money and then they end up pulling the whole thing. Right. Um, so stay tuned for future videos, um, helping you secure your investments and uh, make sure you subscribe. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or concerns and uh, I'll see you later. Thank you.